Hey, what's going on guys? So today I really want to put this video out there and for more of a reason to share a message. Um, it's completely different than something I've ever done. I didn't really plan on doing this, but uh, last night before I went to sleep, I experienced complete stillness, um, really good mental clarity, and I was really able to reflect on you know the last 10 years of my life. And I honestly had, I felt some really deep sensations that I've never really experienced in the past. And this video is really going to be about listening to your instinct, going with your gut, and, you know, following what your heart is telling you to do, instead of letting your brain kind of take over. Um, and the reason I say your brain is because I feel like what comes from your brain often is, is fear or over-analysis. So... As they say, sometimes you get paralysis due to overanalysis. Um, I definitely kind of realized that, that that can be true in a lot of circumstances, um, and especially with those big decisions that are going to control your life, uh, you know, have, have a big influence on the rest of your life. So obviously we all make decisions every day. Some decisions aren't nearly as big as others, you know. Um, if I want a Macintosh apple versus a Honeycrisp apple, it doesn't really matter. But when you make a decision like what kind of career you want or um, what kind of people you're going to surround yourself with, that's going to you know massively influence your life. So basically, um, if this video helps one person, that's great. If it helps 10 people, that's even better. And if it helps nobody at all and I kind of just sound like a hippie or... Um, it doesn't benefit anybody, that's completely fine because at least I tried and I have something from within me telling me to try to share this message in a hopes to help somebody out. So that's really what this video is about, you know, listening to your instinct. So basically, um, when it comes to fear, I feel like there's two things that people fear the most um, and that impairs their decision making. So you can have your gut telling you to do something. You have a specific feeling that your body is telling you to gravitate towards. And then in the back of your mind, you start fearing, well, A, what if I fail? Or B, what are others going to think of me if I, if I go upon this action? And I feel like fear is the most debilitating factor in a lot of people's lives, you know? Um, no one's really holding you back. Most people are holding themselves back. So they're holding themselves back because they're afraid of what others are going to think of them and how others are going to view them. Or if they do do this and it doesn't work out, they fear that failure. They don't want to fail. They want to take the safe route. They want to take the easy route or the route that most people walk. You know, something that's more typical. Um, so last night when I was in bed, like I was saying before, I was, it was just, everything was completely still. Um, I was really able to connect with like my inner being. And it's kind of a shame that we don't have these moments more, more often or as often as we should because we're so distracted with everything around us all the time, whether it's social media or just going upon your, your typical daily actions of your life, you don't realize how years and years and years go by and you might not be doing what you want to be doing with your life. But I noticed that the decisions that I've made over the last 10 years that had to do with listening to my gut and listening to my heart and you know following what my inner being and what my soul wanted me to do were the best decisions in my life and um, the times that I let fear get the best of me, those are all the things I regret. Um, I always say, what if I did this or what if I did that? And the thing that was stopping me at those times was fear, whether it was fear of failure or fear of how others would judge me upon that decision. So basically when I looked at my life, um, I was able to connect the dots over the last 10 years and everything came right back to the heart. You know, that was the focal point. Just listening to 
my soul and my instinct. And we all have these instincts, you know. So I guess I will share some of these moments and hopefully you guys can relate to times that you might have missed out on, times that you let fear get the best of you. And then you can see the times that you've listened to your heart and how much positive um, you've received in return due to that action, due to listening to your heart and, and following your inner compass. So basically, um, it, you know, I tried just going back in my mind over the last 10 years or so. And even the decision about a little over eight years ago, um, the first time I ever saw my girlfriend in high school, I was a junior and she was a freshman. And there was something from within me telling me, you know, you should go talk to her. You should make an effort to get to know that girl. So over time I did that and, you know, thank God everything worked out. She was a beautiful girl. It was one of the best decisions of my life. So that was great. Um, there's been decisions in the past of even something as simple as sitting next to somebody particular in, you know, a biology class in, in college. And I developed one of the best friendships of my life, um, with my buddy Devlin at that time at Farmdale College. And, um, that one decision of just listening to my gut on, on where to sit in the classroom completely changed my life for, you know, completely changed the next five years. Um, he was doing a competitive bodybuilding show. I didn't even know what competitive bodybuilding was at the time. And <clears throat> I went to support him. Um, so I went to his show. And while I was in the crowd, I had that same feeling inside of me telling me, oh, you should maybe challenge yourself in this fashion and, and give bodybuilding a try. So <clears throat> I, you know, listened to my heart. I said, you know, let me do it. Um, signed up for the, the same exact competition the following year. And during that contest prep, I was three days away from the show and I almost pulled out of the show. I almost canceled. I almost called the promoter and said, you know, sorry, I'm not going to be doing the show. And the reason I almost pulled out was because of fear. I was scared I was going to fail. I was scared I was going to embarrass myself. And I was scared of what other people would think of me. Um, so bodybuilding can be like a great analogy for life, competitive bodybuilding. Uh, it takes a lot of courage to go up on stage, be fearless, um, not really care what other people are going to think of you. Even though you are being judged, you're allowing people to judge you. That's what you're getting placed on is other people's opinions. And you're also being courageous and you're not scared of failure. You know, you're stepping up to the plate and you're giving it your best effort on that day. So... Anyway, enough of bodybuilding. Um, going back to the whole life thing, another huge decision in my life was, <clears throat> you know, getting my bachelor degree in athletic training. Um, at first, I wanted to use this as a stepping stone towards physical therapy. And I always told myself, oh, I can see myself being a good physical therapist. It's a great career path. Um, I would have a successful future. I'd make good income. And I think it's a job that I would be a hell of a good physical therapist in. Truth of the matter is, even though I think I would do a great job at it, that's not my that's not my true passion, you know? That's not what my heart beats for. So I decided not to apply to grad school for physical therapy, and I applied to grad school for exercise science and nutrition. And even though I haven't even started yet, I started in 10 days, I'm super excited. But I already feel like that was one of the best decisions of my life. So I threw fear out the window. I said, I'm going to try what I want to do. You know, I'm going to listen to my inner compass and I'm not going to let fear get the best of me. Um, taking physical therapy as a career out for me was more of a security blanket. It was something I knew I could do well in, but it's not what I truly loved. So I'm trying to do what I truly love. And I'm just really happy with a lot of the decisions I've made over the last eight years or so. And that's all started from within, just listening to my heart, not letting my mind get the best of me, not letting fear get the best of me. So I hope you guys can take something from this message. Um, I'm basically just telling you to be in tune with your body. You know, if you need to take a walk, go to a nature preserve, close your eyes, try to meditate, Feel those inner sensations. Um, get in touch with who you really are. Get in touch with your soul. 
and you know, listen to your heart. Make decisions based on what your body is telling you to do. Um, sometimes I'm not telling you to be irrational and make irrational decisions and and throw you know uh, critical thinking out the window. I'm just saying when it's fear that stops you from doing what you want to do, you're going to regret it in the long run. You know, um, give something a try. If you fail, you won't regret it because at least you gave it a try. If you don't do it, you're always going to think, what if I did that? What if I did that? So just go out there, find the courage from within, be fearless, and, and listen to your heart. Um, I'm very thankful for the people in my life. My family is very supportive of me. Um, I wouldn't have a lot of these opportunities if it wasn't for my parents' hard work. I have an amazing girlfriend who supports me in everything I do. Um, the friends in my life and the connections I've made, whether it's through natural bodybuilding or through my educational path, um, I have some really great people in my in my inner circle, and I appreciate all of you guys. You guys know who you are. Um, best of luck to all you guys. Um, to all my clients, I really appreciate you putting trust in me to play a role in your own journey and trying to help you achieve your goals. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, that's really it, man. I hope this video resonates with somebody. I hope it helps somebody out. I hope you guys don't let fear get the best of you and you start making decisions based on your, your instincts and your gut. So with that, I think I'm going to get the day started. Um, you got to get to the gym. You got to go to work. Got to come home and do some more work. So that's it for me. I hope you guys find this message helpful. Um, have a powerful Monday. Have a powerful week. And it is the 4th of January. So have a powerful 2016. Um, everything's going great. This was great timing. So I hope everyone has a happy and healthy new year. Take care, guys.